Election day is exactly two weeks from today. But while that's the official voting day, it hasn't stopped record number of voters from casting their ballots early. Susan McGinnis has the latest from the campaign trail where the president today is headed to Biden's backyard. Exactly two weeks before election day, President Trump and rival Joe Biden heading into the final stretch. The president heading to Pennsylvania today and was expected to be accompanied by First Lady Melania Trump, but her office says a persistent cough related to her COVID infection forced her to drop out. Even though COVID has hit close to home, the president counting on his go-to strategy of massive rallies, telling Fox News. There has never been rallies with this kind of love and this kind of numbers. I mean, we're 40,000, 30,000. The president has fallen behind Biden in Pennsylvania, and he's protesting a Supreme Court decision that ballots from that state can be counted up to three days after Election Day. Early voting in dozens of states is up 300 percent from 2016. Wisconsin joining the list today. What's driving you to the poll this, this election cycle? What is it? <laughs> Everything is driving me here today. Biden off the trail to prepare for Thursday's debate in Nashville, relying on ads to carry his message, some aimed at the Latino community. Joe Biden nos permitiría arreglar los daños. After the last debate featured near constant interruptions, the, the question Supreme is, Court Justice, the radical question, left, will you who shut is your up, man? Listen. The Commission on Presidential Debate says it will mute the microphone of the candidate who's not speaking, enforcing the rules both sides agreed to that prohibit interruptions. These people are not good people, this commission. A lot of funny things go on with them. While complaining, the president saying he still plans to attend.